Hi guys, I'm Becky and welcome to Becky's Workbench. And today we are making the cutest cake you've ever seen. A llama cake. I love this llama cake because it is so simple to make. It's so cute and all of your friends are gonna wanna be your best friend if you bring this cake to a party. So here I have two six inch cakes that I carved the top part to make it round and then I pegged the bottom one and then I dirty iced it. Okay, so first we're gonna make the llama's face. To do that, we need some fondant. So I'm kneading out some white fondant. Okay, now that you have your fondant rolled out, we are going to kind of just put it on the cake. I'm going to cut out the face. So it should look something like this. We are going to pipe on all the hair that is pretty much gonna cover like this entire thing. And I'm just gonna use white buttercream with a big star tip. Start in the back and just make little dollops. We're gonna give him like a nice little bouffant hairdo up here. So I'm just gonna be doing like pulling motions with the bag and that'll give us like this little flippy do. Like, you know, kind of like what I've got going on here. I'm really trying to get a lot of height up here and I think that we're definitely achieving that. Now I'm gonna uh, put on his ears. I made these earlier so they would get hard, but I can show you how I did make them. You're just gonna get um, a small piece of white fondant, roll it into a ball, and then kind of into like a cone, kind of like this. And then you are just going to press in the center with your finger. So you have this type of thing, and then you're just gonna pinch the bottom, and then you have like an ear. And then you can just set these like aside until they dry. So I recommend doing this like the night before so they get hard, so they stand up straight. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pink fondant in the center. I wish I had a smaller rolling pin. But... Now that you have like a really super thin piece of pink, take a water pen and just brush the inside of the ear. And then I will cut out two little slivers of pink that will fit in the center. So your ears should look something like this. So I'm just putting this toothpick in so I can shove these into the cake so they stand up. You wanna put your ears like towards the back of the cake behind like his little do. That's cute. Now we're going to make some cat eye sunglasses that are actually gonna match mine. So just to give you a little preview, this is what we're doing. And we're gonna put these on him, or her actually, Sally. So I just printed out a picture of like typical cat eye sunglasses and I'll just trace around the outside just to get the shape down. Now that we have this rolled out, I will take my stencil and just trace the outside of it. Then once you have like your little marking, I'm just gonna cut out the inside where we'll put the black. Okay, now that we have our glasses cut out, we are going to glitter them. Okay, so you want something underneath the piece of fondant that you're gonna glitter because glitter will stick to everything. So you wanna use as much protection as possible. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. Okay. For the glitter to stick, the fondant needs to get wet. So I'm just using my water pen and I'm just brushing everything here. And I'm taking some pink glitter and just pouring it on top. Oh my God, these are so cool. Now I am shaking off the excess glitter very delicately because the fondant is very soft. So for now, we're just gonna let those dry um, and firm up a little bit so we can just easily kind of place them on the llama's face. And now we are going to work on the lens of the sunglass. So that I'm gonna use black. Now that you have your piece of black rolled out, we are going to just outline, again, the lens of the sunglass. To give the effect of like a sunglass effect on the lens, I'm going to dust the black with a blue petal dust. Now we can attach our sunglasses. 
I am going to take my water pen and just kind of outline the rim of the black so that the pink can stick on top. Now we're gonna put her shades on. So I'm just wetting the fondant so that the glasses stick. Yeah, now we have to make her nose. So I'm just taking the same pink fondant that I used to make the sunglasses. I'm just gonna form like a little triangle. Little nose. And then she needs a mouth, obviously, because she has a lot to say. And I'm just taking a little piece of black and then I'm just rolling it into a little cylinder. So now I'm just drawing out where I'm gonna put her mouth with the water pen. And I'm gonna start from the bottom of her nose. Okay, Sally is finished. And wait, no, she's not. This is the finished product, Sally the Llama. I think she is so cute. The glitter sunglasses are so funny. And I think she's just so much fun. I mean, if you take this to a party, everyone's gonna love you. And everybody loves a llama cake. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching me make this llama cake. If you wanna see more of my videos, just click over here. If there's any cake you want me to make, leave it in the comments below and we'll try to make it. Bye.